Alright guys, Jamal116 back with another two redstone creations. Basically this time I've got for you guys a couple analog things. I've got an analog adder, which I'm by right here. And I've got an analog subtractor down in the distance that you can't see because my render distance is down. But long story short, I made a couple things for calculators because I kind of... I don't know, I just thought it'd be interesting to try it out now. And I think I managed to do a pretty good job. So if you can see here, right now this is my adder. It's a lot more complicated than most people's because the difference between mine and most people's is that mine actually works. <laughs> and what I mean by that is that like if you take numbers like most other people's, if you were to take a number like, and it works fine if you add numbers like 1 and 5, it'll give you 6. However, as soon as you add a number like 9 plus 9, then what's going to end up happening is it's going to give you 15. Because that's the strongest that a redstone signal strength can go, which is stuck at 15. The difference between mine is when you see this 9 here, when I add another 9 to it, it will actually give you 18. I added in a little extra algorithm that it runs to make sure that, you, you know, that it gives you the right number there. And so basically, well, my adder works. That's what I mean by it, basically. Anyway, so just to show you off, or show you off, just to show it off to you, I'm just going to take this. I've got 999,999. just going to add 1. And you'll notice it's not the fastest thing in the world, but when you look at how small it is and how close together they all are, I think it makes up for it. So you see we have our 1 million. But like, look at how close together these things are. Like There is literally no gap between them. So then when I take the 1 away again, it's going to once again slowly work its way back down the rows here. And there you go. Back to our old answer. So anyways, this is it for the adder really I'm gonna go show you the subtractor real quick so let's just head on over the whoa what just I was up there how did I get over here so quick I don't, I don't know who cares anyways this is my subtractor and once again you're probably well I know what you're asking yourself right now is well comparators already do subtraction so why do you need to build a separate subtractor and you know basically once again cuz mine actually works and I'm gonna show you what I mean so comparator subtraction works fine with numbers let's say like 7 minus 4, or se yeah, 7 minus 3, because I'm going to use that example here. 7 minus 3 is 4. Comparators do that fine. But where comparators don't work is when you start doing numbers like, let's say, 13 minus 7. Now, if you just hook up a single comparator here and use it for each digit, then assuming you could find a way to make the borrow logic, if you did 13 minus 7, it would show you 0, because it recognized it had to borrow, and then but it would still give you an output of 0, because according to comparators, 3 minus 7 is 0. But you'll notice that when I do 13 minus 7 or 3 minus 7 on mine, it's going to give us the answer, which is 6. Now, once again, I just added another little algorithm in there to make sure everything works nicely, and that's really all there is to it. Um, what was I going to say? Totally lost what I was just going to say. Who cares? Um, anyways, so for this one's example, I've got 100,000 loaded up on the screen, and I'm just going to subtract 1, and this one's considerably faster than the adder. So we're going to do this, and you'll notice that they chain together pretty quickly. It's already done. Now, I also want to point out that the screen I built in the back here has about one second of delay for the number to start and everything, or like for the number to change. So basically, is I'm just if you want to time it from when I pull the lever right now to when it to when it's done, that's how long it takes the subtractor to work. Um, I'm not sure how long it is. Haven't actually timed it myself. Haven't really cared that much, quite frankly. But if you wanna, if you're one of those people who's like needs to know the speed of everything, there you go. My screen has a one-second delay. Um, so once again, here's one unit of it. Essentially, I know it looks really big and bulky, but most of it's actually the carry logic, which I hope I can explain in the video, in the next video, because I've got all my signs placed out and everything. Um, but basically, the only part that does any subtraction is this little thing here, the comparators and stuff you're looking at, it's actually really, like, a lot flatter, it's just a couple blocks down there. This thing here that makes it look all huge and bulky, even though it really doesn't actually make it that much bigger, is for carrying. And anyways, um, that's really all I have for you guys today, so, I guess, until next time, this is Jamal116, signing out.